For today's project, I'm going into a couple of my smaller clover plots here. I'm spraying them with, uh, it's a clefidim based herbicide. The actual brand that I'm using is called Intensity, but there's a lot of them that are available that have the clefidim as the active ingredient. That'll kill the grass out of the clover. It won't kill the broadleaves out of the clover. This one doesn't have a lot of broadleaf weeds in it, has some grass, uh, and the clover is just a little bit sparse. The soil is not real fertile here on this ridge top. So I'm, I'm in here also with uh, P and K fertilizer, uh, phosphorus and potassium. And I'm trying to hit it hard today. I'm going to put in, oh, I've got a whole tractor bucket full of P and K. I'm going to put on just a couple of small clover uh, food plots today. So clover likes fertilizer and uh, it never hurts to hit it hard. This time of the year, you're going to get limited benefit from it uh, by the fall. It would have been nicer if I could have got it in maybe in June because it takes a while for that to work its way into the soil. But it'll definitely help yet this year and then it'll make the plot quite a bit better next year. So you got to think of fertilizer, especially with P and K, as a two-year deal. Nitrogen will get soaked up that first year, but the P and K will be uh, available for a couple of years. So that's today's project. Uh, it's cooled off some. I'm feeling like... Uh, you know, maybe we can think about hunting. Uh, it's not 95 degrees and 90% humidity. So it's, it's time to start thinking about it. Uh, get the food plots in order, start getting the trail cameras out and get ready for the fall.